Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Kieran the Barber and we are back again with another video. This is the second one this week. How are you all doing? I hope you're all okay. If you are new to the channel, do not forget to just give me a little click on that subscribe button. That'd be absolutely great. Today we have the curliest of hairs. It's like a it's like an 80s perm almost it's crazy this is all natural what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice little skin fade we're gonna skin fade that give it a nice low skin bringing that up shaping it round put a little couple of scratch lines in there giving that making that beard really pop out making it nice looking how are you all doing it's been a good week so far i'm feeling good let's get it let's get it so starting with the babyliss fx we're gonna put that line in and just drag the clipper or trimmer down sorry just putting that line nice and around putting in that shape putting in that guideline just coming back down past the occipital bone and just bringing that round then what we're gonna do is we're gonna then start taking off that bulk because I can't blend in when that bulk of the hair on the sides is so heavy so we're gonna start taking down that and then from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working up with our guards from a two down to a one and a half open down to a one and a half closed a number one open a number one closed a half guard open a half guard closed and then we're gonna do some trigger play which um, I will move my lever up and down going from a half with no guard on to a zero with no guard on and then anything in between to remove shadows or bulk So shout out to Fizzy Flop in my last video. The comment says, perfect 10 haircut. Great fade on both the hair and the beard. Oh, and I agree, the ink enhancements finish everything. Now in my last video, what I did was, and I'll do it again in this video, I started to use the Tomb 45 enhancements with a airbrush gun or a spray gun or whatever you want to call it. Um, and what that does is that just creates a it's a tint on the hair and a tint on the beard it just creates shape gives it a nice smooth all-round finish it's like what I would say is it's like makeup for women or it's like fake tan or it's like dyeing your hair you know it's, it's something that we do I would usually do it if I am taking a photo or I'm filming a haircut or someone's going out on a night out or going to the club and they just want that sharp looking feel it doesn't it lasts a couple of washes and there we go, that's what that is. Thank you Fizzy Flop for your comment, I appreciate everyone's comments. My second shout out goes to Anthony Roy. What's going on Anthony Roy, how you doing? He says, if you had here with a straight razor that would have made it crispy. Good cut overall, if you could spin your chair all the way around so we could see the whole finished cut, would be nice, great job. Thank you Anthony. Let me just clarify, um, Havid on my last video um, has quite sensitive skin. So using a straight razor wasn't really ideal, but I get exactly what you mean from that. So on Abu Jala Wajid Hada, we did the um, same thing here because his skin was quite sensitive. So what we tend to do is we went around with the trimmers. I'll be honest, my trimmers, my Ergo X's are really, really sharp. So I've got um, no issue with using them. They they cut to the point. But I get what you mean. If you're if you're going around with the enhancements, especially a razor does finish that off. But I've just got to be careful with my um, with my customer. So yeah, and to spin the chair all the way around. Honestly, I didn't even think of doing that. But in my next few videos, I'll make sure that happens. So Anthony Roy, thank you for your constructive sit constructive criticism. You, my friend, are straight up G. So now as we come to the back of the hair, I'm repeating exactly the same steps, taking off that crown as well, just making sure that's all blended in. Because where um, 
where he's got it cut last time it's very disconnected so i just want to blend that in a little bit and then i'm not going to show the other side because i repeat exactly the same steps on the other side i just thought i'd try something a little bit different and just give you a shorter video but with more precise information So now just finishing up um, with my half guard on, just finishing up, just detailing that coming up, down, just trying to get rid of them shadows. As you can see on um, Abdullah Wajahadid's haircut, his occipital bone is raised slightly. So underneath there's slight shadowing. So what we have to do is we have to make sure the skin is stretched out. We start blending that in and we get that occipital bone not so prominent and poking out. And then just, as you say, just finishing off with the skin fade, just taking that nice and slowly, just blending that up and flicking out, as you can see, as I'm going around. And just making sure it looks nice and blended. And that's what we want. Guys, as I said, any constructive criticism in the comments are more than welcome. Haters don't get welcome because haters are dickheads. But constructive criticism is great. I appreciate everyone so I can know what I'm doing and what I could do better. But... Um, since I've been posting a lot more, I've had I've had a lot of hate on my videos, and it's like unnecessary hate, and so that upsets me a little bit because I don't need that. We've all gone through a lot over lockdown, and coming back after cutting hair after seven months, I don't um I don't appreciate kind of real uh, like unnecessary negativity. So if you're thinking about that, just don't comment. But I take constructive criticism quite happily, and obviously I love all your comments. Comment, and then in the next video you could potentially get a shout out, especially if you follow me. Subscribe. And guys, just now, just right now, as I'm editing, a Richmond just poked his head through the door, and he said this: the magic words, "Kieran, can I borrow your camera? I'm gonna do some filming." Oh, guys. <laughs> If you don't know who a Richmond Perez is, you are living in a fucking rock. Get onto YouTube, search up a Richmond Perez. He is the best barber I have ever seen with my own eyes. Get on YouTube, search up a Richmond Perez. He is back. I think his channel's currently Clean Fade at the minute. So if you search up Clean Fade, maybe you type, you type a Richmond Perez. Tell you what I'll do. Tell you, watch this. Watch this, guys. This is magic. I will put Clean Fade right in the corner of my video. Guys, that is a Richmond's channel. Click on it. I'm not sure if it's going to be Clean Fade for much longer. It might just be a Richmond Perez. That is A R I C H M A N P R E R Z. P Perez. P R E Z E. I don't know how to spell Perez. I'm actually dyslexic with spelling. So, guys, that is that. And also, just a really quick shout out. But, okay, just wait. I'm getting excited. That was my line out. This is me fading in a beard. I step down and what I do is I go gradually from a one and a half on the beard, keep the chin a little bit heavier, and then I bring that right down from a half upwards. So we leave it a little bit longer around the chin and around the beard, but he wanted mainly a stubble look. So we kind of gave him a stubble look, which come out really, really clean. It made his face and his bone structure look really, really nice. So back to plugging. 
because you've got a plug. Also, my boy Zach has just released a video. Wait there. Up in the corner right now is Zach's channel. That is Zach Batista. He has currently got 125 subscribers. We now just need to get Corbin on the video flex. I know Zoe said she was going to. Then we have got the whole gang on YouTube. We are taking over. Also, look out because we're going to have a raw image page for all like the highlights and haircuts and stuff like that. So if you search up raw image barbershop, I'm sure you'll find our page. I'm sure I've made a channel on there already. So yeah, make sure you check out Zach. I'm going to leave that up there. So click on Zach Batista. Give him a subscribe, please. He needs it. He's desperate and his videos are actually really clean and his work is really smooth. So make sure you check Zach out. Now just finishing up on this haircut. We're sticking in some slit lines, some cat scratches, some tiger fucking roars. I don't know what these are called, but they look shit hot. They are legit. I've actually done them this time way around. I've done them the opposite way around. So I've gone from bigger to smaller. As you can see from the bottom, they come out larger. And as I go to the top, they come out thinner. A lot of people usually do them the, the other way around where they come up bigger on the top and come out and then smaller on the bottom. I just fancied the change. I fancy something different. So I, I wanted to try like that. I actually come out really, really smart. It come out really clean. So yeah, and then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to do the enhancements as well. So we're going to enhance the corners of his hair. We're going to enhance his beard make everything look nice and sharp nice and clean and then we're going to do a little bit of blow drying we're going to style that in with some powder and then yeah it's going to look absolutely awesome guys this is pretty much the end of the video as you said it is a shortish video for me thank you for watching i appreciate every single one of you i look forward to doing my next video because i look forward to hearing all your comments um and yeah bless people and i shall speak to you all soon Peace. I ain't here for a church picnic.